drifting down from heaven. Okay. It looked like a Grandma Moses print. So romantic, we felt like newlyweds again. I love snow. Uh-huh. December 9th. We woke to a beautiful blanket of crystal white snow covering every inch of the landscape. What a fantastic sight. Can there be a lovelier place in the whole world? Beautiful. Moving here was the best idea I've ever had. Shoveled for the first time in years and felt like a boy again. Yeah. I did both our driveway and the sidewalks. This afternoon, the snow plow came along and covered up the sidewalks and closed in the driveway. So I got to shovel again. What a perfect life. Ah, oh, nice. December 12th. The sun has melted all our lovely snow. Such a disappointment. My neighbor tells me not to worry. We'll definitely have a white Christmas. Uh, no snow on Christmas would be awful. Bob says we'll have so much snow by the end of winter, I'll never want to see snow again. No, I don't think no. that's possible. Mm. Uh, Bob's such a nice man. I'm glad he's our neighbor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. December 14th. Snow. Lovely snow. Eight inches last night. <laughs> Temperature dropped to, bu- to minus 20. The cold makes everything sparkle so, and the wind took my breath away. But I warmed up shoveling the driveway and sidewalks. This is the life. The snow plow came back this afternoon and buried everything again. I didn't realize I'd have to do quite this much shoveling, but I'll certainly get back into shape this way. I wish I wouldn't huff and puff quite so much. December 15th. 20 inches in the forecast. Sold my van. Bought a 4x4 blazer. (laughs) Bought snow tires for the wife's car and two extra shovels. Stocked the freezer. The wife wants a wood stove in case the electricity goes out. I think that's silly. We're not in Alaska after all. (laughs) December 16th. Ice storm this morning fell on my butt on the ice in the driveway, putting down salt. Hurt like hell. Mm -hmm. The wife laughed for an hour, which I think was very cruel. December 17th. Still way below freezing. Roads are too icy to go anywhere. Electricity was off for five hours. I had to pile blankets on to stay warm. Nothing to do but stare at the wife and try not to irritate her. God, I hate it when she's right. More shoveling. Took all day. Damn snowplow came by twice. Tried to find a neighborhood kid to shovel, but they said they're too busy playing hockey. (laughs) I think they're lying. Bob says I have to shovel or the city will have it done and bill me. I think he's lying. December 22nd, Bob was right about a white Christmas because 13 more inches of the white shit fell today. And it's so cold, it probably won't melt till August. Took me 45 minutes to get all dressed up to go out and shovel. Then I had to piss. By the time I got undressed, pissed and dressed again, I was too tired to shovel. Tried to hire Bob, who has a plow on his truck for the, truck for the rest of the winter, but he says he's too busy. I think the jerk is lying. December 23rd, only two inches of snow today, and it warmed up to zero. The wife wanted me to decorate the front of the house this morning. What is she, nuts? Why didn't she tell me to do that a month ago? She says she did, but I think she's lying. December 24th, six inches snow packed so hard by the snowplow, I broke the shovel. Thought I was having a heart attack. If I ever catch the idiot that drives that snowplow, I'll drag him through the snow by his balls. I know he hides around the corner and waits for me to finish, and then comes down the street a 100 miles an hour and throws snow all over everywhere where I've just been. Tonight, the wife wanted me to sing Christmas carols with her and open our presents. But I was busy watching for the snowplow. December 25th, Merry Christmas. 20 more inches of the goddamn slop tonight snowed in. The idea of shoveling makes my blood boil. I hate the snow. Then the snowplow driver came by asking for a donation, and I hit him over the head with my shovel. The wife says I have a bad attitude. I think she's an idiot. If I have to watch It's a Wonderful Life one more time, I'm going to kill her. December 26th, still snowed in. Why the hell did I ever move here? It was all her. Yeah, she's really getting on my nerves. December 27th, temperature dropped to negative 30, and the pipes <laughs> froze. December 28th, warmed up to above negative 50. Still snowed in. The witch is driving me crazy. <laughs> December 29th, 10 more inches. Bob says I have to shovel the roof, or it could cave in. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. What a dumbass Bob is. How dumb does he think I am? December 30th, the fucking roof <laughs> caved in. The snowplow driver is suing me for a million dollars for the bump on his head. The wife went home to her mother. Good riddance! Nine more inches predicted! <laughs> December 31st, set fire to what's left of the house. No more shoveling! January 8th. I feel so good. I just love those little white pills they keep giving me. Why am I tied to the bed? 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Happy 2010. Stand by oh, for somebody. more snow tonight and tomorrow. Oh, you're killing me, man. Okay, and that is a that is a holiday tradition with me is the, the diary of a mad snow shoveler, uh, and uh, I personally think it's hilarious. And I love to read it and do a little oral interp along the way, and it's a lot of fun. There so you go, I right. hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, let me know. I can do more. There's also, you know, uh, uh, there's a summertime equivalent. Oh, I'm sure there the is. The Diary of a Mad Lawnmower. I, I, I was going to say, welcome. To the, hey, um, for all you out there, Trash, thank you for that. That was, Absolutely. That was really fun. Absolutely. I wasn't enjoying that at all. That's I could tell. <laughs> and we had these blizzard pictures. I don't know if you saw some of them. We had this, like, here's the house buried, you know. Sure. Oh, shit. The roof <laughs> caved in. Oh, God, the roof <laughs> caved in. Yeah, I know. Anyway, we're going to we're gonna try to do what's on the picture in the background here soon, which is go riding. Don't forget, we're going to be at the Smokeout on the 18th and 19th oh, of June. June. We're going to be down there in, in New Rosa or whatever it is, or Rosa. Santa whatever. Rosa. Santa Rosa. Uh, New Mexico. you got to put up some stuff in the garage, folks. Come on, help us out here, kids. We need some new builds. We know you guys are out there in the garage working on this stuff. Put up your pictures so yeah, you can get out of the show. Get out of the holiday. Get out of the holiday. Get your thing. ass get, out in the garage and get busy. Get, I did today. Get so. busy on those bikes. Now it's your turn. It's time. I'll have some more update on Frankenstein hopefully next week if I get to spend any time on it. Um, you know, the guys are talking about this problem with... Uh, with uh, big Hubble's. Yeah, thing. I'm interested to see yeah, where we'll that see, goes. We'll I still think it's overfueling problem. I don't know where everybody's got. Everybody's trying to help him out with all kinds of different suggestions. We'll see what finally actually works on this bike, and then we'll do a we'll do a sort of rundown of that. Remember, if you got something terrible to say about the show, don't forget to send it to trash at <laughs> kickstarttv.com. <laughs> If you got something good, send it to Warren at KickstartTV.com. Do not forget to go to www.kickstarttv.com and put up your pictures in the garage. We will be back here next Tuesday because you guys know where we are every Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Same bat time. Same bat channel. It's Kickstart TV. We'll see you later, brother. Good night. All right. Good night, everybody. Kickstart TV. The show that cares about what you've got to say about the world of motorcycling and motorcycle building. Oh, I've got a helmet. <laughs> I got a beauty.